Good evening, Utopian Baseball Universe, and happy Jackie Robinson Day. Before we go on, what what is this? What what is this? What 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 what? All right, we're done. We're done. All right, our top story. It's Jackie Robinson Day. Uh, that's going to supersede anything that happens on the Utopian Baseball Universe Diamond. Uh, we're celebrating the legacy of my daughter's favorite human being, Jackie Robinson. Um, I remember, I'll try not to get choked up here, but I remember when she read, uh, I, I got her a book for Christmas one year. It was called um, Who is Jackie Robinson? It's a kid's book, you know, about 40 pages long. She read the entire book in one sitting one night and started to cry. She actually went into her bedroom, came back out, and was just so upset that uh, he wasn't allowed to play until, you know, 1947. Um, and uh, I, to this day, I mean, she's going to be 16 in September, but that's that's her favorite human being. It's not me. It's uh, Jackie Robinson. So uh, I will always have her in mind, of course, uh, on this day. Um, big things did happen in the universe today. Uh, so let's get to it. The, I know you guys think I'm, uh, you know, creating, creating these results, but the Mets beat the Dodgers tonight in our featured game, eight to seven in one of the greatest games of the year. And, and maybe in the history of the utopian baseball universe, the Dodgers led seven to two into the ninth. Clayton Kershaw was fantastic. Uh, then the wheels kind of came off. He gave up a couple hits, walked a guy. Um, he ended up giving up a RBI single. And then they pulled him for Kenley Jansen. Kenley Jansen walked the first player he faced, then gave up an RBI single himself. That made it 7-5. to five. Then Curtis Granderson, coming off the bench, hits a three-run double to win the game for the Mets. Mets 8, Dodgers 7. Seth Lugo with the win, Kenley Jansen with the loss, Cody Bellinger and Pete Alonzo with homers in this game, but it just just an incredible, incredible game. The Dodgers scored seven runs in the fifth inning, knocking out Doc Gooden. Just uh, a whole bunch of stuff happening in this one, but the, uh, the Mets do get the win tonight, 8-7 to seven in our featured game on Jackie Robinson Day. Uh, the Angels completed the sweep of the Yankees, 7-4. to four. Buck O'Neill, two hits, an RBI, and a run scored. Joe DiMaggio, three hits, and a run scored. Frank Tanana wins this one for the Angels. He's 2-2. Two two. Sparky Lyle takes the loss. He's 0-1. Mickey Mantle hit his first home run of the year for the Yankees. Uh, wild one in Washington today. The A's beat the Nationals 9-7. to seven. Uh, The Nationals led this game 7-1 to one after four innings. Chris Davis with two homers and four RBIs for the A's. Juan Soto, three hits and three runs scored for the Nationals. Uh, Trey Turner hit a home run in this game for Washington. Raleigh Fingers pitching the last inning and two-thirds, getting the second win of the year for the A's. And Tanner Rainey taking the loss for the Nationals. Uh, in just an incredible game in Baltimore today, uh, the Giants shut out the Orioles 1-0. Each team had five hits. The only run scoring on a two-out RBI single in the eighth by Mel Ott. Uh, Matt Cain, complete game, five hitter, six strikeouts, getting his second win of the year. Mike Mussina was just as good, um, going eight, or actually uh, he did go, yeah, he did go eight, um, five hits allowed, the one earned run. Uh, in Toronto tonight, the Blue Jays beat the Mariners 9-3. to Willard Brown 
four hits, including two doubles and two runs scored for the Blue Jays. Carlos Salgado went three for five for the runs scored. My boy, Dave Steeb, gets the win. He's two and one. Jamie Moyer takes the loss. He's one and two. The Expos with a shutout victory tonight in Montreal, 5 nothing. Zach Wheeler, complete game, eight-hit shutout for the Expos. He struck out five. Ray Danridge for the for the uh, Padres, two for three with a walk in this game. Uh, the Rockies beat the Red Sox today, 5-3. to Three-run three homer by Charlie Blackman. Broke a 2-2 tie in the seventh. Ted Williams with a double, a homer, and two RBIs in this game. Uh, Ubaldo Jimenez, the winning pitcher for the Rockies, he's 3-1. and one. Louis Tion takes the loss. He's 1-2. and two. In Philadelphia tonight, it was the Diamondbacks 6 and the Phillies 1. Brandon Webb with a complete game 7 hitter. Jay Bell with a double and a run scored. Leon Day, the loser for the Phillies, he's 0-2 on the year. Now let's take a look at the South at North games. We'll start with our afternoon uh, feature on ESPN today. The Rangers beat the Brewers 5-4. Lance Lynn extended his scoreless inning streak to 21 and a third before he gave up a two-run homer to Ricky Weeks. Uh, his two previous starts were uh, both complete game shutouts. So uh, his 21 and the third is the longest in 2021. Uh, Ruben Sierra homered for the Rangers. Pete Hill hit his first home run as a Texas Ranger. Uh, Lance Lynn improves to 3 0. Giovanni Gallardo, 0 3 for the Brewers. Uh, Houston with a shutout in Minnesota today, 4 0. The third time in four starts that Lance McCullers does not allow a run. Two of those three were complete game shutouts. Today was one of them. Um, in his only other start, he got he got ba uh, banged up a little bit, but uh, McCullers improves to two and one. He got a no decision in one of those starts. Burt Blylevin takes his first loss of the year. He's two and one. Uh, the Tigers pulled off a sweep today, beating the Royals four to two. Bill Foster. With a complete game seven hitter, he struck out six. Hank Greenberg hit a two-run homer in the first inning. Alcides Escobar homering for the Royals, his first of the year. And in Pittsburgh tonight, the Pirates pulled off a sweep of the Cardinals, seven to four. These were the top two teams in the power rankings coming into this week. But the Pirates get the sweep in Pittsburgh. Andrew McCutcheon, two hits, including a three-run homer. Bill Mazeroski, three hits, including two RBIs. Doug Drabeck gets his second win of the year. Chris Carpenter takes the loss, his first. Kent Ticaldi with his fifth save for Pittsburgh. Durham beat the White, or I'm sorry, the White Sox beat Durham 7-3. to three. Uh, Minnie Minoso hit a second inning grand slam, five RBIs on the day. Josh Gibson for the Bulls, three hits and a run scored. Big Ed Walsh, 3-0. Uh, Old Hoss Radborn took his first loss of the year. He's 3-1. and one. Uh, The Braves sweep the Cubs at Wrigley Field 5-1 to one today. Kid Nichols, complete game five hitter, seven strikeouts. Raphael for a call, two hits and two runs scored. Mark Pryor, the loser for the Cubs, he's 0-2. In 12 innings today, the Rays beat the Reds 7-6. to six. Alex Cobb pitched six innings of scoreless relief, only allowed one hit, Struck out four. Austin Meadows with a go-ahead RBI single in the 12th gave the Rays the lead. Uh, Cobb was the winning pitcher. He's 1-0. Uh, Tom Hume took the loss. He's 0-1. And, and in our final game today, the Indians beat the Marlins 2-1. It was the Satchel Page show. Uh, Satchel Page, complete game three hitter. He struck out six and hits the third home run by a Cleveland pitcher through 18 games. Uh, so his fifth inning home run was the difference today, and he went the distance as the Indians beat the Marlins 2-1. to one. Let's take a quick look at the standings uh, before we get to today's top performers. 
Uh, so these standings are, uh, are through this evening. The Toronto Blue Jays now find themselves in first place in the East with a 9-9 nine nine record. They hold a game lead on the Nationals, Red Sox, Yankees, and Mets. In the South, the Houston Astros with a game lead on Durham, Florida, St. Louis, Atlanta, and Tampa Bay. Log jams in these two divisions. In the North, the Pirates and Tigers hold the best records in the Utopian Baseball Universe. They're both 14 and 4. They have a game lead on the Reds. And in the West, it's the Colorado Rockies, who remember, I think they started the year like 0 and 5. They're now 10 and 8. They have a game lead on the Angels and the A's. Uh, so that's what the divisions look like heading into this weekend. Let's look at today's uh, top performers, top hitters. Chris Davis, those two homers and four RBIs for the A's. Curtis Granderson, that big, big three-run walk-off double for the Mets. Uh, Willard Brown for the Blue Jays, four hits and two runs scored. And Minnie Minoso with those five RBIs for the White Sox. Uh, let's take a look now at the top pitchers on Jackie Robinson Day. Matt Cain, complete game five hit shutout. Zach, excuse me, Zach Wheeler, complete game eight hit shutout for the Expos. Satchel Page, complete game three hitter and hitting a home run for the Indians. And Lance McCullers with his second complete game shutout in four starts for the Astros. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, not sure when, uh, probably between 12 and 2 sometime. Uh, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go live for about five, 10 minutes, and we're gonna preview the weekend. Um, I'm gonna be doing this now twice a week. Uh, on Mondays, when I do the power rankings, we'll preview Monday through Thursday. And then on Friday afternoons, we're gonna preview the weekend. And we've got some amazing matchups this weekend. So we'll get to those tomorrow. I'll actually post it before I go live so you guys can kind of see everything, but then we'll talk about it. And uh, I'll, of course, appreciate any comments or questions you have. Um, but today was all about Jackie Robinson. I know the Dodgers did not win their game, but uh, the whole universe celebrated his legacy today. Uh, tomorrow, we've got some, uh, again, these are non-division matchups. So this weekend will be the only time we see these particular matchups this year um, unless they were to meet in the, in the postseason. So uh, thanks for being with me tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Take care.